my friends, good evening. Thank you and good evening. <laughs> Pundits and party elders have declared that Senator Obama will be my opponent. People watching around the country, even those who may not support Barack Obama, certainly taking this moment to reflect on the historic nature of what is happening on this evening. As you can see, a very impressive crowd there uh, in a very big building, certainly larger than the few hundred that were on hand for John McCain's speech. Our best days are ahead of us. Was this John McCain at his oratorical best, just in terms of the style of the delivery? Uh, you know, it's funny, I, no matter what you ask, Brett, I was going to talk about that. Folks are going to naturally be sort of comparing his style to Barack Obama's, and he's just not as glitzy. Uh, Senator McCain's working off a teleprompter, he often stumbles with it. John McCain had better start working on his uh, speech making and uh, learn how to use a teleprompter. I mean, the, the, the gap, the rhetorical gap between this speech and rhetorical the speech... Rhetorical or oratorical? Oratorical gap between this speech and, and, uh, and John McCain's was vast. Uh, John McCain uh, sounded old. And that, and that's not change we can believe in. <laughs> that's not change we can believe in. Why take Obama's own slogan and just sort of say no? You know, it seems like you'd want to uh, develop your own theme a little more. That's not change we can believe in. I want to bring in Alex Castellanos, Republican strategy supporter of John McCain. Your take on his speech. Well, last I checked, this was not a speech-making contest. Thank God, because... Uh... <laughs> yeah, well, if it's a contest of speeches, Obama's going to win. Some people have said he's not the most galvanizing, not necessarily the best spump, uh, stump campaigner. <laughs> That's not change we can believe in. Can you make somebody a better campaigner? You know, Gerald Ford got a lot better. He started out uh, as a pretty clumsy speaker. Yeah, after he'd been, he'd been president for a while. <laughs> yeah, he was a terrible speaker, but he got better. He, he practiced and, you know, with a teleprompter and all. I'm Speaking sorry, what about that McCain speech? <laughs> that oh was God. awful. That was pathetic. <laughs> Jeff Tubin uh, was very unhappy. That was, I mean, that was, he looked awful. He was, cat I mean, th that audience that was this handful of people, you've got 20,000 people in Minnesota and like a couple hundred in, in Louisiana. Where he's struggling to read the teleprompter. I mean, I thought that was one of the worst speeches that really? I've seen him give. I thought the backdrop, the green backdrop, was pretty awful. Having him stand in front of a, this green backdrop, no people behind him, relatively small crowd, occasionally people kind of hooting and hollering. Government orders, regulations, and mandates. Uh, d it's hard to stack that up against Barack Obama. Does he need help in? sort of presenting a case <laughs> more? We're, we're just trying to lower expectations, <laughs> right? Now, I think, just to keep them where we want them. Uh, it could have been a little more vibrant. Let's face facts tonight. A little but more? Uh, he recognizes that. Campaign recognizes it. Folks in the audience recognize it. Uh, and yet, this is John McCain. He has always been this way. He's not a particularly strong orator. You know, he can't match uh, Barack Obama or even Hillary Clinton rhetorically. Uh, but I do think that he sends signals to people that he's an adult. I want to give a credit to the McCain people. They, they put a room together where John McCain was the youngest person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that was a I have to say, sometimes when you, you're reading the speech along, uh, the speech reads better than it sounds. Sometimes it sounds better than it reads. I think we would agree this is a speech that was better on the printed page than it was coming from John McCain's mouth. Yeah, content better than delivery tonight. No, they, they're not, they haven't been, it's not how it's, uh, how it's f familiar. But not, not a, a workmanlike uh, a delivery by McCain. But he doesn't trust us to make decisions for ourselves and wants the government to make them for us. It's kind of painful, at least tonight, listening to McCain. That's not change we can believe in. His plan represents the old ways of government. That's not change we can believe in. That's not change we can believe in. 
We're going to uh, break away from Senator McCain's speech. Senator Barack Obama has enough delegates to secure the Democratic presidential nomination. Why that type of government doesn't trust Americans to know what's right or what's best in their own interests? Senator Obama has accumulated the most liberal voting record in the United States Senate. That's not change we can believe in. He's an impressive man who makes a great first impression, but he has... Maybe this was a hopeless night for McCain to really match up with Obama. Ladies Maybe he shouldn't have tried in the first place. But I, I don't know that it'll be a very good night for McCain. It's Senator Hillary. That's, uh... Obama, look, has cornered the market on change. If this is a change election, he's going to win. This is indeed a change election. The choice is between the right change and the wrong change. The irony is that Americans have been experiencing a lot of change in their lives. Some of these changes have distressed many American families. I thought McCain's speech tonight was, change doesn't sound like such a good idea to me. I think change is scary, change can be bad. You know, I have a few years on my opponent. <laughs> uh, occasionally you'll see what looks to be sometimes an awkward smile as he tries to sort of connect with the audience, but it sometimes feels a little bit off. And that, my friends, is the kind of change we need right now. Thank you very much, and thank you. Thank you very much. Carl, what, when was the decision made to do this speech? About three weeks ago. Right. So he's had a while to work on this speech, and it's delivery one presumes, right? He has. The McCain campaign told me off the record a couple of weeks ago they were planning to go to New Orleans, try to get in the story here on Obama's victory night, right. uh, get some attention, frame the race between themselves and Obama. And it seemed like a good idea to me. I've got to say, however, watching that speech, I don't think it was a successful speech. I think it was a mistake for the McCain people to make this speech on this day. Let's not be mistaken. This speech tonight by John McCain may be the best he's given on the campaign trail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>